The All-American Derby coverage on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by The Stallions at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Robridge, Louisiana. The Stallion E-Search look back of the All-American Futurity throughout the years. Very alert lead. On the inside, Effortless Dream is second. On the extreme outside, Stablemate Reckless Dash racing in third. Moon's High fourth. And on the inside, it's Fly Moonlark Jr. The challenge on the entry. It's it. It's Effortless Dash on the inside. Strawberry Silk, Jackie and Jack, number five. A brilliant race for the gray filly. Chris? And hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson, of StallionEsearch.com, up here on the mountain for the All-American Derby preview. On this episode, we're looking at the fastest qualifier going into the Derby, Gold Heart Eagle V, out of the barn of Monte Rosa. We'll take a good look at the fastest qualifier in the Derby after these words from our sponsor. Standing at Robichaux Ranch in Brobridge, Louisiana, one of the all-time Louisiana bred runners, Open Mia Corona, the AQHA champion racing stallion and near millionaire was a titan of racing in his home state of Louisiana, mustering 13 stakes wins, eight of them graded, including the grade one Louisiana Million as a two-year-old. Now the son of Corona's leading you is making future champions of his own as he is in the top 10 on the leaderboard for the first crop sires of 2020. Standing at Robichaux Ranch in Brobridge, Louisiana, the brilliant runner, Open Mia Corona. And as they move out of the gate, it is Aviator with a short lead. Goldheart Eagle V charges up the inside. From the outside now, here comes Dynasty with aggressive driver and a political papa. But it's all Goldheart Eagle V clear by three lengths. Goldheart Eagle V leaves no question. You know, the horse has just progressively gotten better. He, um, all year long, he's he's trained really well, but he's pretty inexperienced, hasn't had a lot of outs, and um, each race he's just gotten better and better and uh, ran a great trial race, came out of the trial race really strong. Greg, this horse broke really quick. He left in his left lead, um, but he broke good enough to not get in any trouble. Um, he, he ran a really good race, and um, he finished real strong. The distance didn't seem to bother him. Uh, I didn't have to do too much, just halfway down the racetrack I rolled my stick over and I just flagged him and I kept him busy and the horse uh, finished strong on the end. Uh, crossing the wire I knew it was a good time and, uh, and and it was, it was a lot faster than what I thought it was, it was ended up being the fastest time but uh, it was the first trial of the day for the derby so um, it was good. You know, we've just been trying to keep him happy. We've um, been hand walking him and he's been to the track and stood at the gates and, um, you know, we haven't done a lot with him. We're just keeping him happy, keeping him fresh. This horse's demeanor has changed a bunch. Um, he's real positive. Um, it's almost like he runs, so he ran third in the, in the, in the derby and uh, it's almost like the horse is out for revenge, if you want to say. Um, he's doing a lot, a lot better than what he was in the, in the, in the finals of the Rainbow Derby. And um, he's doing good. The horse is confident. He stood very well in the gates the other morning that we stood in. Um, galloped really good and uh, seems to be all business. He's a stud horse um, and he doesn't show any signs of him being a stud. He's, he's real professional.